Philadelphia nothing. Early in the first quarter. Michael Irvin starts to limp off the field. The Saints hung on to beat Tampa Bay by two. Second and eight. As Irvin limps. And Irvin was expecting a big game today or wanting a big game. You know, he has those four touchdowns. It's funny. They all, it's not funny to, to him, but they all came in September. He got four touchdowns in September, and he shot an over in October. Elvin Martin is the man in motion. This is Aikman. Pass completes to Novacek, crossing. Stopped by Seth Joyner again, a gain of only three. There's Michael Irvin over on the sideline. Yeah, the, he really was upbeat yesterday. Yeah, and, and you know, and, and, and real excited. I mean, he's one of those guys that loves the limelight. Uh, you know, loves to be in it. Knows when you get a big game. That's the time that you know big players should play. And he's going to get hurt blocking right here. You see him? He's right there in some kind of block. And Joiner comes and rolls up right on the back of his leg. He said yesterday he was going to have to be doing a lot of blocking, and that's why wide receivers hate to block. Because third, they can't see what's coming from behind. Third and five. Aikman, incomplete intended for Martin in his hands and it out. And the Cowboys will have to punt again. Rich Miano on the cover. Reggie White with a little bit of pressure on Aikman. And hey, that'll make you get rid of the ball pretty quickly, won't it? When you get just a, a little heat from Wedgie White will make you get rid of that thing. Well, normally when you talk to Reggie, you don't see much outward emotion. But there was some there last night. There was a lot there last night. I think he was as animated as I've ever seen him, or as ready for a game on a Saturday night today as I've ever seen him. Saxon. Not very good again by Michael. Takashima. Flag on the play. Taken down by Dale Hellestray. Bob McElwee is the referee. They say it's Michael Irvin's ankle that has been twisted, and they're checking to see if he'll be back. If he can come back, he will be back. And I think the Cowboys need him just to have that Illegal threat out in there. The back, number 57 on the return team, during the run back. Ten yards, first down. 57 is Kowalkowski. The NFC standings, Dallas 6-1. and one. The Eagles a game behind and tied with the Redskins, who are coming on. Giants not out of it, certainly in three and four. And then Phoenix one and six, but everybody you talk to says Phoenix is better than that. Yeah, I think if you have to say, you know, what's the best division in the NFL, I don't think that anyone would argue that this is the best division, or anyone argues this isn't the best division. And these are two of the leaders. Here's Cunningham back to throw it. Chased by Haley. He got it out to Walker. A gain of about five, Robert Jones. Vincent Smith, the tackle on Walker. And there's a guy who has really helped this Dallas Cowboy defense. You know, they got that offense going, but if they needed anything, they needed some help on defense, and Charles Haley's the guy. I mean, they needed a dominant player. They needed a pressure guy. They needed a guy that you have to say, where is he lined up? And if you don't know where he's lined up and get a couple of guys on him, he is always going to be there like he was on that last play. Barnett down at the bottom of the picture. Walker goes the other way. Walker, about a yard shy of that first down, picked up three. Stopped by Jones and Washington. Vincent Smith down there, number 57. He looks like he was he was trying to push him or punch him or do something when he was down. Maybe he was going for the ball. Vincent Smith was excited. He was he was trying down there. Something's happening down there at the end of that pile. I can hear you know that they're going to go after Herschel. Still excited. <laughs> I think what they're trying to do is make them fumble and trying to get the ball out of there after it's down. Heck, that play's been over and done. They're still working on the ball. Third and about a yard and a half. Call it two. Cunningham will throw. Haley pushes the pile back at Haley. Gets there first. The ball's loose. Leon Lett 
put on the heat. We welcome those of you who just watched the game between Green Bay and Detroit here at Texas Stadium. No score yet. Penalty marker down on this last play. Again, we were talking about Charles Haley and, and what he does for this defense. Still third down. He's the guy no that play. started it. No play. Well, you heard Bob McElwee say no play, no play. Still yeah. no sack. Yeah, and that means that the that the whistle had to blow before the snap. They just couldn't get him stopped. It'll bring up a third and about seven. And the Eagles were off size before the ball was snapped. They blew the the whistle, but had they not, that shows a couple things. One, that Haley can put on pressure, and Cunningham has a problem with fumbles. He's fumbled nine times this year. Roy Green in the Eagle lineup. This time, Cunningham has time. His receiver, Calvin Williams, his intended receiver, I should say, slipped down. It rained all night. And so the turf is dry, and it's wet in some spots. Well, Richie Cote was saying last night, Randall Cunningham hasn't been in sync with these guys, and he isn't in sync here early. He said he wanted to get back, boom, get rid of that ball. Jeff Beagles back to punt for the Eagles. Kelvin Martin back deep for Dallas. Still no score. They tried to block that one, so not setting up a return. This is Kelvin Martin. Away from one. Six by two. And it's hammered. By Pat Beach. Well, Pat Beach is the starting tight end now, but the way he got in position to hammer him, of course, he's the snapper. He's been a 10-year veteran. Richie Kotite talking with his quarterback, Randall Cunningham. At final score, 23-21. I don't know. Did they look like they were talking or arguing well, over there? I gave them the benefit, maybe. <laughs> it did look like an argument. The Jets over Miami. 16-7. Buffalo had a tough time. Pittsburgh beat Houston by a point. in the game, but this is Emmett Smith, left side, no game, or maybe a yard. Ball popped out, but the play was down. Clyde Simmons made the stop. But again, we, you know, we were talking earlier how uh, Jimmy Johnson breaks every game down, like everyone does, a kicking game, and then your offense against their defense, and your defense against their offense. And he figures that he's going to win the one in the kicking game. He's going to get a big play in the kicking game. He figures that his defense is going to win the battle against the Eagle offense. Then the one that he doesn't think is going to win is this one right here. His offense against their defense. He said, in that case, you just don't want him to lose it for you. Second and nine. Flag on the play. The Eagles jump. Pass it out to Johnson. Johnson has enough for a first down. We would welcome those of you who watch the Rams and the Atlanta Falcons. Number 51 defense, penalty declined, first down. Dallas first down, the penalty was against William Thomas, declined. You know, and this is the first, first down of the game. You, know, you think that the Eagles are, are going to be a dominant defense, they are, and the, and the Cowboys, again, are an improved defense, and the Eagle offense is a struggling offense. Numbers one and two, the Eagles being number one. First down. Dallas at their own 30. And Aikman to throw it. Urban dropped it. Booty on the covering. And this will give you time. Watch, here's Reggie White here. Now watch how they block him. They're going to have two guys on him. Williams hits him. Boom, he gets underneath him. You bring the back in there. Here's Johnson right here. Here's Williams right here. You get him sandwiched. If you are going to have pass protection, you better double Reggie White. Keep him as close to the line of scrimmage as you can. That's a pretty good double. I mean, you, know, yep. you can get a double sometimes where a back will knock a tackle off, too. Johnson goes in motion this time on second and ten. The draw play to Emmett Smith. Hits by Reggie White. The ball is loose, and the Eagles have it. That's 
The one thing they said they couldn't do is turn it over. Eric Allen made the recovery. And one thing the Eagles do is they really get off their blocks well. Watch them. They hit in. Boom. They get off blocks. They penetrate. There's big Reggie coming down here. He goes to hit him. Clyde Simmons, 96, hits him. Boom. And strips that ball out of there. And Eric Allen made the recovery. First down, Eagles. And the Cowboys, 36. We were talking to Nate Newton last night. And he called He called Clyde Simmons the silent killer. He said, you hear all the thing about Reggie White, he says, but the guy that can really kill you is Clyde Simmons, and he started on that play. First and ten, Philadelphia. Cunningham, the throw. Picked off by Larry Brown with blockers in front. And Brown hit and knocked out of bounds by Cunningham. Alvin Williams was the intended receiver, but they turn it around in a hurry. 30-yard return by Brown. Probably the most underrated player on this Dallas Cowboy team is Larry Brown. But you know one thing, when you're a pro quarterback, you got to zip that ball. And for some reason, Cunningham didn't zip it. He took something off. Larry Brown is playing underneath. Watch that ball. That doesn't have a lot of zip in it. Brown is just playing underneath in his zone. Reads it, picks it off, and takes it back. And did someone put a block on Herschel Walker on that play? Tony Colbert it was. He saw him, and he turned. Yeah, that, that's the thing. When you're rushing, you go from defense to offense. And did Colbert put a hit on Herschel Walker? This, of course, is Herschel's first visit back to Texas Stadium since that mammoth trade with the Vikings. Really, the keynote of the return of the Cowboys. And, and you, you know, wonder what he's thinking. Well, yeah, he's probably thinking on that. That wasn't a, a welcome home uh, no. uh, handshake there by no. Tolbert. But you know, the other thing is this is maturity by the Cowboys. You know, when something bad happens to you, instead of letting it happen, boom, go make something bad happen to the other guy. Randall Cunningham just suffered that interception with Coach Height. The Eagles head coach over in conference with him. First and 10 Dallas at the Eagle 42 and a half yard line. No score, Emmett Smith. Barrels inside the 40, picked up four, maybe five. William Thomas stripped him. You know, we were talking about the, the, the thing that the, the Cowboys are going to try and just run and run and run. Emmett Smith has, has never had a 100-yard game against the Eagles, and, of course, those two things kind of go hand in hand. If he has 100 yards, they're probably going to win because that means they were able to run the ball, but they've never done that yet, and every Eagle will tell you the key to stopping the Cowboys is stopping Emmett Smith. Cowboys now go with two tight ends. Alfredo Roberts and Novacek. But they go in the other direction. With Emmett Smith. He looks to be too short of the first down. Stopped by Byron Evans. Now they're running over there on that left side. One thing, you get away from Reggie White. You get in there behind Mark Tuane and big old Nate Newton. You know, they move Nate Newton from a guard to a tackle. And they're running back in here right in here to this side. You know, just working out. You see Nate gets Clyde Simmons, big old 61. Boom, he gets him moved out. Two and eight gets his guy moved out. And they get a nice crease in there for Emmett to run. Third down, a couple. Elvin Martin, the man in both the basement, will throw it. We'll get a hurry to Michael Irvin. First down, Cowboys. Inside. The Eagle 30, a gain of eight, stopped by Rich Piano and John Booty. As we see, they, they have this bunch type of thing. One guy goes deep, Mike Irvin just stops. And again, what they're trying to do is just get him against the zone about seven yards, trying to be in a short guy, hoping he can get the ball. He'll break a tackle and make a big play. First and 10 at the Eagle 26. 
you know, no just, score. If you're thinking about scoring against the Eagles, I don't think this is a bad place to try from. Try from here. It's tougher when you get close to the goal line. He's going to try. Nova checked the intended receiver. Covered by Byron Evans. One thing about the Eagle defense, they feel those linebackers can stay with a tight end. Yeah, that's the thing, that, that either Seth Joyner or Seth Joyner and Byron Evans, that they can stay with Novacek. So if they can stay with the tight end, then that means that you can take your secondary. You see Byron Evans there stay with Novacek, cover Novacek. If they can do that, then that will let your secondary double the wide receiver. to the right on second and ten early left and Smith stopped as he heads straight ahead Mike Pitts both these teams do a lot of changing on defense changing in personnel particularly the defensive line well you know you have a guy like Mike Pitts who's uh, been injured uh, you know just been activated a couple weeks and and you want him in the game and you want him to play because he's a good player very good against the run good pass rusher but you don't want to play him too much where he starts to get tired and then that injury thing comes back third and eight two and a half minutes left to play in the first quarter no score as yet egg moves the pocket incomplete kelvin martin was the intended receiver andy Harmon. Put the pressure on Aikman, and here comes their field goal. That's a guy that's quietly having a pretty good year. Is that Andy Harmon? Yep. He's playing well in there. Lynn Elliott is the Dallas kicker. This will be from about 42 yards. Burline holding. This is a part that Jimmy Johnson was saying he has to win. He has to win the kicking game. will take over. Nothing, nothing. 2.15 left to play in the first quarter. It's the weekend, and the Honda Automobile plant in... With John Madden, we're at Texas Stadium in Irving, Texas. Nothing, nothing score. Randall Cunningham gives to Herschel Walker. And the Cowboy defense swarms on their ex-teammate, although most of them were not here when he was. You know, it's it's funny, Pat. At some point, I think this the Eagle defense is going to start getting mad at this Eagle offense if they don't keep them off the field a while. But they always seem to be bailing them out. With the Eagles, it always seems the offense are getting trouble. The defense will bail them out. In fact, they've given up 14 turnovers the Eagle offense has. And out of that, the other team has only gotten six points. That is remarkable. Here's Cunningham to Walker. Bounces away from one, but... Is home for a loss of two. Russell Maryland was the first man to make the hit. And the other guy there, here's going to be, here's Maryland right here. Here's Charles Haley here. One of the things we talked to Rich Cote last night, he said they wanted to run at Charles Haley. He said because he's not a big, strong guy. He's not a guy you can take a double team, but he's not an easy guy to block. I mean, Charles Haley, you may get him. You may start to get him. You may start to block him. But I'll guarantee you one thing, Charles Haley doesn't stay, stay blocked, and you're not going to make a living running at 94. But the only thing he might do is wear it down. Yeah, that's the thing. You may wear him down. Cowboys on a blitz, and Cunningham is down. Jeffcoat. Jim Jeffcoat. Boy, that's a name we've been mentioning for a long time. They had the whole thing there. Thomas Everett, number 31, was on a blitz. Charles Haley was just there. And then Jeffco. Watch Haley's coming from the outside. Watch number 31. Everett is there. 77. Jeffco coming from the other side. Boom! Hey, that was a stunt. Jeffco usually plays a right defensive end. He came on a stunt from the left defensive end. Martin at midfield. Around the corner. Martin out of bounds at the Eagle 45. Knocked 
down by James Joseph, a 36-yard punt by Beagle, the return of 16. And we're talking about the special teams in the kicking game, and the Cowboys missed that field goal, but they sure got some good field position here. Nothing, nothing. 34 seconds, first quarter. Nothing at Texas Stadium. 34 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Cowboys first and 10 at the Eagle, 35. They had it down here a moment ago, missed the field goal. Now they're back. John Madden, Madden said in very good shape. Aikman face. Aikman throws the Nova check incomplete. Rich Miano getting over check. And they, uh, Troy Aikman made a heck of a move getting away from Reggie White. Reggie White's going to put the pressure on him. Watch 92. Wait, that, that's a bull rush. You just get a ball and you just get that thing going backwards. Look at uh, Aikman made that uh, bullfighter move there right around him in order to throw the ball to Novacek. That was a pretty good move. No Novacek has a broken finger and he's having trouble catching the ball. And he's usually a sure-handed guy, but it's the, it's the right hand. You see the, the ring finger on the right hand is broken. And he is having a tough time catching the ball. Aikman back again. Wheels it outside to Emmett Smith. Byron Evans knocked him out of bounds. But Emmett got nine. One thing about this Cowboy team with, with Troy Aikman really, really coming along as, as one of the, the top quarterbacks in this league. If, you know, then he has a lot of tools. He has Harper and his speed outside, Irvin, Novacek, Emmett Smith. I mean, they really have a lot of players that they can move the ball around to. That's the end of the first quarter with the score. Dallas nothing, Philadelphia no nothing. A yard and a half. The Eagles on this defense, they're playing a goal line defense here now, Pat. They only have three defensive backs in there. So they got the extra linebacker. Hand off to Emma Smith. First down. Cowboys at the 21. Britt Hager made the stop. He was the extra linebacker. That's right. They took out their, their corner, John Booty, for it in a extra linebacker just to stop the run you see they're all in there to stop the run they're all in there waiting to stop the run and then the cowboys ran right into it but did a good job of blocking and still got the first down first and 10 at the 21. daryl johnson and emmett smith the two backs novacek the man in motion smith there. Wes Hopkins up in a hurry. No game. You know, Daryl Johnston is a good player. I mean, you don't uh, see him a lot because of Emmett Smith. He doesn't get to, to carry the ball, but he does all those tough things. He He's the guy we saw him uh, doubling a, a Reggie White in pass protection. We saw him that time leading a good blocker. In fact, I think had Emmett Smith followed Johnston on that play, he would have made more yards than a yard. And the left was blocked. Johnston does a lot of things quietly for this team. Very good pass receiver. Good blocker, as you said. Anytime they took him out. Novacek was the man in motion. And complete Novacek again. Novacek has probably dropped more balls since he's broken that right finger than he has in his whole career. That time they took Johnson out, they put Novacek in the backfield. He was the tight end in the backfield. They put him back there, moved him, put him in motion out to the right, brought him underneath on that short pass, and that's the second pass that he's dropped today. In fact, it's the third pass. Uh, Michael Irvin dropped the pass already. And Novacek in the first game against the Eagles up at Veterans Stadium had a couple of drops that he would normally have caught. Third and nine. Aikman again retreats. 
intended for Harper incomplete. Booty and Miano back with Harper. I tell you, you have to have confidence and you have to have a rifle arm when you throw that one. Troy Aikman threw that thing into double coverage and he zipped it in there. I mean, that thing, if you could put one of those guns they have on baseball on this thing, this one is over 100 miles an hour. I mean, that is a zip. I mean, that thing is zipped in there. There's no way it's going to be intercepted. In fact, it darn near knocked the defender down. That might have hurt from 38 yards this time. Elliot. No good. Overcompensation, maybe. That one missed right. And the score remains. Nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, the score. Here's how close Elliott came. Well, if you know, you if, if you look at this, the, the goal line goes right down the hash mark. So he's on the left hash mark. They try and kick it out and then hook it in. That one, he just kicked it out and it didn't hook at all. It's got to be inside the goal post. This is Walker. And the Cowboys string it out and herd him out of bounds. As long as Herschel Walker can be kept running sideways, you can hurt him out of bounds all day. That's always been the thing on Herschel Walker. Don't let him get in your secondary. Don't let him get his shoulder square. Keep him perpendicular to the line of scrimmage. And they kept him perpendicular, and if you keep him perpendicular, then you're going to hurt him right on out of bounds down here in Texas. That's the key to a lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Cunningham in the great throw, low throw for Barnett. You know, last night we were talking to Richard Cotite, the first thing he said when he came in the room, he said, we have to get our offense in sync. That was even without a question. Yeah, and uh, they haven't done it. Final scores, all those. Atlanta beat the Rams by two. The Jets upset Miami. Pittsburgh over Houston. Green Bay beat Detroit. New Orleans. They keep winning. I tell you, talk about a silent killer. That's the New Orleans Saints. Isn't yeah. that the truth? They always win and no one ever talks about it. Ball batted in the air, incomplete. As Cunningham again felt the pressure from Haley and Jeffco. And Jimmy Jones. You see Jimmy Jones coming up. There comes Jeff Coat again from that left side. Jeff Coat used to play the right side. Haley's on the right side now. See Jeff Coat 77 down here in the bottom. He's going right through Antone Davis. Haley's up at the top. Jimmy Jones coming straight up the middle. Jeff Beagle back to punt. Cowboys this time do try to set up a return. Kelvin Martin at his own 28. Out of bounds at about the 30. Brett Hager down to make the stop, a penalty marker on the play. That's a new Cowboy punt return where they have Kelvin Martin back there and two other guys back there with him in case there's a short punt. They don't like the way Kelvin Martin comes up and feels short one, so they put eight men up and then three men back, two men on either side. Number 26 during the run back. 10 yards, first down, timeout. Penalty called against Kelvin Smith. Nothing, nothing with 12.35 left. Dallas has been down in range. Elliott has missed two field goals. Emmett Smith has 45 total yards. Look at the total yards overall. Dallas 72, Philadelphia 7. Dallas ball first and 10 at their own 21. Nothing, nothing. in the slot to the left and now he goes in motion to the right. Ripped up. Jumped forward for a couple but stopped by Byron Evans. 
Mike Golick. You know, those guys really do a pretty good job in there. Again, you talk about Reggie White a lot and Clyde Simmons, but Mike Golick, number 90, and Andy Harmon, 91, are doing a pretty good job in that middle, along with Mike Pitt substituting in and out. Again, they try and keep a guy fresh. They don't have Jerome Brown there anymore with the real strength of that defense. But these guys are doing a good job in that middle, so that's where the Cowboys are trying to run. That's Pitts back in there again. Here's Aikman to throw it. Drops it off. For Calvin Martin. First down and Martin. Tripped up at the 40. Right now, let's send you back to New York for an NFL update. All right, Pat, in Phoenix, the Cardinals have broken a scoreless tie. Chris Chandler to Randall Hill, four yards in the touchdown. And for the 49ers, Steve Bono has replaced quarterback Steve Young, who's left the game with the flu. 7-0 Phoenix, three minutes to play in the first half, Pat. Here at Texas Stadium, score is nothing, nothing. 11-20, 11-19 left to play in the first half. Dallas has pretty well controlled things, but no point. First down, Aikman throws. Calvin Martin again. Into Eagle territory. Stopped by Hopkins. Just barely. Yeah, it's an interesting thing. They bring in Kelvin Martin, and he's taking the place of Jay, uh, Jay Novacek in there. He's going in that position. You see right in there underneath against that zone defense where the tight end usually catches a lot of passes. Instead of having Novacek get in there, and he's had trouble dropping the ball, they put in Kelvin Martin, boom, he's a little change of pace, and they let him work that same area that the tight end or fullback would normally work. First and 10 Cowboys at the Eagle 48. No score. Aiken and Smith with room this time. Emmett Smith dragged down by William Thomas. Four-yard gain. Looked like it could have been more. Jim McMahon there is trying to pump up that offensive line because he knows that that, that offense of the Eagles, if they're gonna if they're gonna stay in this game, that offense of the Eagles is gonna have to start at least at least getting some first downs, at least taking yeah. some time off the clock, at least letting this defense rest because this is a great defense, but you can't let it play the whole game for you. If they do, no matter how good they are. Sooner or later, they'll crack. Emmett Smith. Not much. Miano up from the safety spot. You see Reggie White on that play. They, they, they had success over on the right side. They ran at Reggie. Now they're going to try and run again at Reggie. And boom, he's going to come here and just stand up this whole thing. Watch Reggie there as they come. They start to see him take on Williams. Williams, 320 pounds. Reggie just gets underneath him. Boom, straightens him straight up, keeps him there in the backfield. And there's no place that Emmett Smith is going to make a yard on that side. If Reggie doesn't wish to be blocked. You're not going to block it. You're not going to block it. He gave you a little tap in the pregame. Still feeling it. Close to a first down. Novacek held on. Miano made the stop. They're going to measure. Now they're right there where they can start the measure. They got one of the, the sticks right there. And you don't have to measure. You just kind of have to stretch it out and take a look at it. Don't move it. Oh, he's holding it down. You hold it down, I'll stretch I'll measure it. measure it, and it's a first down. It was complicated, but it's a first down. You see me just kind of look down at your feet, see the ball and the thing right there, and say first down. That last play, we're talking about Reggie White, he had moved over the center, and he played against Mark Stepnowski on that play. Aikman, again, didn't want that push up the middle. He got a pretty good block on him, and Aikman got rid of the ball and got the first down out there. Six first downs for the Cowboys, none for the Eagles. Aikman fakes to Emmett Smith. Incomplete. Intended for Harper. He tripped over Wes Hopkins. the fans that they're trying to get a pass interference. 
Watch Alvin Harper come across. We're going to see Wes Hopkins, number 48. Again, does he hit him or touch him or anything before the ball's in the air? No. Nope. I mean, you can't, you can't, uh, can't call a penalty on that one. They didn't. They shouldn't. They won't. Second and ten. Johnston in motion. Emmett Smith finally finds the room and gets inside the 35. Clyde Simmons made the stop. Smith sneaked around for five. But they, you know, all those running backs that are the great running backs in the NFL today, you know, the Thurman Thomas, Emmett Smith, Barry Sanders, Barry Foster, we are talking about earlier today yeah. when we are watching Barry Foster, they all kind of looked the same. I mean, they all got that kind of short and real powerful body from the waist down. I mean, they have big, strong legs, hard to see, but are very powerful runners. All about 5'10", 5'11". Not the huge backs there used to be in pro football. Here's Aikman spinning out of pressure, chased by Reggie White, and run out of bounds by Seth Joyner. No gain by Aikman, and I think they're out of Elliott's reign. But they, and this no, is they're the, not. This is the thing. If Elliott's going to come in for the third one, but Aikman has some speed here. Better you know, have. The, the, the joiner was chasing him, but before that, Reggie White was chasing him, and he had to get his hat then. This will be from about 52 yards. He's missed from 42. He's missed from 38. got started Offense. five yards delay of game on the offense yeah that's a killer there because at least they had the shot there to kick it now with the delay of game of course that's a five-yard penalty so they won't even try it now so that makes them punt I mean that's we, we, we talked before the game that Jimmy Johnson said they were going to win the kicking game they had to win the kicking game in the first half thus far, they aren't winning any kicking game. Well, that's two shots they missed outright. That one, if it had counted, was not good either. But it's all. Probably better off punting anyway. Yeah. Sikahima signals fair catch and makes it at about the 19-yard line. They spot it on the 20, and now they move it back to the 19. Still no score. First half, no score. Cowboys and the Eagles. Reggie's starting to look like a football player now. I mean, I don't like this carpet and stuff here in the hole in the roof. We don't get any grass or mud or dirt, but at least you get some blood in your pants. Start to look at this is a football game. Take to Walker. Pass complete to Byers. Byers laying with a broken bone in his hand, stopped by Benjamin Smith. You know, one thing I always liked about Keith Byers is whether he runs the ball as a runner or as a receiver, has a broken hand or whatever, he finishes off every run. In other words, you come to hit him, he's not going to just stand there or stay there and let you hit him. He is going to hit you. And you talk about an open field blocker. Keith Byers over the years has made some of the best open field blocks I've ever seen in my life. He is a tough guy. On second down, they give this to Walker. Close to a first. If it is, it'll be the first, first down for the Eagles of the day. Robert Jones, the middle linebacker. You know when you stop. have when you have goals and stuff as an offense or you're you're talking as a coach with a score of zero zero. You don't talk in terms of oh, we got to hit some bombs, we got to get some scores. Sometimes, like a rich code tight now, you just want a first down. You know, let's just keep the ball. Let's just rest our defense for a while. Let's just get some first downs. Maybe we'll have to punt later, but let's just take some time off the clock. There are some barriers you have to break, and that's one of them. Hand off. 
That's Byers over the left side, four yards. You know, and it, and it, and it seems like they figured, figured out, let's give Byers the ball some because Byers brings a little spirit. I mean, he brings a little load. I mean, he takes that ball in there, and whether there's something there or not, he's going to hit the hole. I mean, that's a different look. Herschel Walker will kind of give you the slide and glide and slash and hit it if it's there. Byers will hit it whether it's there or not. Second and six, just under five minutes left to play in the first half. Nothing, nothing score. Cunningham to throw it. Again, the ball bounced. Maurice Johnson was the intended receiver. Incomplete. Yeah, I think that's still part of Randall Cunningham's frustration is not having Keith Jackson. You know, I was thought that you know Keith Jackson and Keith Byers were kind of his security blankets. Those guys that he could tell them what to do. They'd always be underneath. He could always find them. Of course, Jackson's with Miami, and Byers has a broken hand. And I don't know that he feels that confidence in Pat Beach or Maurice Johnson, who he just threw to. Third and six. Roy Green lined up in the slot. Sekahima was a man in motion. The Cowboy with some heat on and stop Herschel Walker. And do they stop him? No game. Leon Lett was the first man there. And he's another who's really coming on. Leon Lett's a big 300-pound tackle who can run. He looked like he tried to take Herschel Walker and just bury him right here in the middle of the stadium. I mean, there's tackles and there's takedowns and there's bringdowns and there's knockdowns. But I'll tell you, this is a pull and a drive and a slam. And I mean, everything came, his, his, his part started to come off. That's all done without a rope. Martin signals fair catch fix it. The Cowboys will take over at their own 27. 38 yard punt. 401 left to play, no score. Texas Stadium, Philadelphia, Dallas, no scores yet. 401 left to play in the first half. Nothing, nothing. Dallas first and 10 at their own 27. They have been able to move the ball a little bit. Not very effective, and the Eagles have just barely been able to move it. Smith just gets a yard. Reggie White. Yeah, they're trying to run a trap in there. You'll watch they'll block down. Here's Reggie White right here, and they're going to block down and try and trap. You see, they bring him down. Here comes Nate Newton. He's trying to make a trap there, but Reggie White just took that hit, felt that pressure, and then boom, the minute you feel the pressure in your outside shoulder, you just dip your right side, and then you'll end up in a spin. That's exactly what Reggie White did. He spun right into it. Second and eight. Novacek on the move. Aikman retreats. Gets it to Novacek. Uh, Novacek hangs on. I guess outside the 30. Hit by Miano. Not enough for a first down. A gain of three. He was talking to Troy Aikman yesterday. He was talking about offensively, they have to have a lot of patience. And I said, is that easy for you? And he goes, yeah, he said, it's easy for me on Saturday. And he said, it's usually easy for me early in the game. He said, where I have trouble being patient is in the second half or if we get behind. Then I just want to go and try and make something happen. Third and four. Smith is the lone setback behind Aikman. Martin in motion. Aikman to throw the Eagles blitz. Pass complete to Martin. That is enough for a Dallas first down. A pickup of 11. Yeah, the, the Eagles, the first thing you have to do is, is pass protect. The second thing you have to do is be able to pick up the blitz. And that's what they do here. You see 56 Byron Evans is coming. Boom. Right there. Emmett Smith picks him off. And that's the block. Of course, that and all the offensive linemen block it. But Emmett Smith, you know, we know he can run with the ball. But if they're going to blitz, you have to be able to do what he just did. And that makes you get the reception. That's the two-minute warning. They'll be unable to get another play off. Two minutes left. And Aikman looks a little disgusted as he looks up now and sees they didn't get a playoff before the two-minute warning. 
A look to go on the first half at Texas Stadium. Yeah. Roy Aikman's been protected rather well. Well, that's the thing. We just saw Emmett Smith making a big block with the blitz there. He's only been sacked one time and hurried once. Hasn't been knocked down. No batted balls, no interceptions. I think both of these teams' offenses right now are playing not to lose rather than to win. First, first down, Dallas, at their own 44-yard line. Two minutes left in the first half. We have to admit that the Cowboys offense has been playing a lot better than the Eagle offense. I mean, they've had some, they've had three field goal opportunities. Aikman to throw. Gets it to Dallas Johnson. Still on his feet, still fighting. Another Dallas first down at the Eagle 41. Wes Hopkins finally knocked him down after he picked up 15 yards. Yeah, watch him. Here he's, he's going to start right there. Rich Miano's number 38. When you get a guy like Johnson in the open field, you better wrap your arms. Miano doesn't wrap his arms, and Johnston runs right over him. He's like a he's like a bowling ball or a cannonball when he gets open in that open field. Of 240 pounds. Again, Aikman. of the added effort by the Eagle defense. Timeout, Dallas. Well, you know what they're doing? They're booing, but I'll tell you who's, whose fault that was. That was the official's fault. There was no whistle. And the Eagles were just hitting until the whistle blow, and that was a late whistle. Nothing, nothing. Next Sunday with regional action here on CBS, most of you will see these same Cowboys battle the Detroit Lions. John and I'll be there for that one. A big game at 4 o'clock Eastern features the Redskins against Seattle. Check your local listings for the game and time in your area. It all starts at 12.30 Eastern with the NFL Today. The last word before kickoff. That's next Sunday on CBS. Right now on CBS, no score. Cowboys at the Eagle 32. They need a yard for a first down. Somebody moved. Golick might have jumped on the Eagle defense. Yeah, if the Cowboys get a first down here, I think against the Eagles, this is a good area to take a shot at the end zone. They're a little tired. They've been out there a long time. You got them run down a little. Number 90, defense, five yards. Yeah, if you look at the time of possession, the Cowboys have had the ball 19 minutes, 26 seconds. The Eagles only 9 minutes, 31 seconds. There's Bud Carson, the defensive coordinator of the Eagles. Good for a long time, and now I think there's a time to take a shot at him. Aikman back to throw it. Johnson again. Inside the 25. He's stopped by Byron Evans. And William Thomas. Timeout Dallas with 56 seconds left to play in the first half. And still, nobody on the scoreboard. Ross Perot on voting. Madden, no score. As we wind down the second quarter, coming up, Greg and Terry with the scores and highlights from around the league. There have been some big surprises. That all comes up on the NFL today at the half. Second down. And about seven to go for Dallas. And the Eagle just inside the Eagle 25. Here's a Eagle twist. Pass complete to Martin. Bach is going to continue to run. Cowboys only have one timeout, and I'm sure they want to save that pass for the field goal. They don't want to use the timeout here. They could just throw the ball down to stop the clock. 35 seconds left, and that's what Aikman does. See, when you get down and you only have one timeout, you want to save that for your field goal. So now it's second down. I still think they ought to take shots to the goal line. They haven't taken any shots to the end zone yet, and I think that the closer you get, the tougher it is. 
You know, I think back on the 25 would have been an ideal spot to try it, but here is a pretty good spot. 34 seconds left to play in the first half. Down to 12 seconds. And Aikman will get this off in plenty of time. Aikman batted up in the air, out of the end zone, incomplete intended for Novacek, broken up by Hopkins. Hey, and Nate Newton is down on the play. I guess he's going to be, be okay. Nate, Nate has a bad knee, and he's just playing on that knee. In fact, they were talking about maybe doing surgery on it. They decided just to let it go until the season's over, and, and he got thrown right at the end. He's a left guard here. What, 61, Nate Newton blocking his guy, blocking his guy, pushes him right on beyond, and then someone rolled up the back of his leg. So he comes back to throw again with 29 seconds left. He shoots, grounds it. In the direction of him, Smith. <laughs> I think Reggie White Reggie made White. him ground that fast. <laughs> As Aikman was going to throw it, Reggie White, 92, made a heck of a pass rush, came around with his right arm and knocked that ball out of there. Watch Reggie White. He's right here. This guy is, is the most dominating defensive lineman in football. When he wants to rush like this, he's so big, so strong, you're not going to block him. He grabs him with his left hand and brings the right arm around and chops it out of there. The field goal tries 35 yards away. And finally, they can use the scoreboard. Dallas. 30-yard, 33-yard field goal by Elliott. And they lead 3 nothing. I was worried about that. We're going to go to Terry and Greg at halftime for scores and highlights. We didn't have any score. At least we give them a score. We had some highlights. Yeah. They, they had enough shots. I mean, the Eagles' defense is a great defense. But, doggone, you just can't take that many shots. I mean, I think them holding the Cowboys to three to nothing for one half is an amazing feat by this Eagle team. Still 21 seconds left to play in the first half. The Eagles have all of their timeouts remaining. That's Richie Kotite talking to Dick Wood there, one of his offensive coaches. And I think he looks like he's begging, is there anything we can do? Do you have any ideas? How can we get things in sync? What are they doing? What can we do? We better talk at halftime and they have to get something going offensively. Seidner, Sakahima, back deep. Elliott's kick off the good one. Almost goes out of the end zone, and they stay in there. The Eagles take over with 21 seconds. 21 seconds left to play in the first half. The Eagles have all of their timeouts remaining. I would think with this and the way the Eagles have been going in this first half that they would probably just run the clock out here. I mean, I don't think you have to take a, an 80-yard shot here and have anything bad happen just before halftime. They have one first down, 22 yards in total offense. 21 seconds again remaining in the first half. Cunningham gives to Walker. Walker, left side. Stopped by James Washington. He got eight, but that'll be the last play of the first half. And as you said, John, the way that offense, the Eagle offense particularly, has been going, just don't take any chances. Nothing, nothing. That's the end of the first half. Thank you, Mark. That's the end of the first half with the score. Three nothing now. Dallas leading Philadelphia. Stadium. Low scoring. Almost a no scoring first half. Randall Cunningham with Seth Joyner. The Eagles have two yards passing and 28 yards running in the first half. Cunningham three out of eight for 13 to one interception. And Randall Cunningham is in a funk and they, I mean it looks like Seth Joyner who is a high energy guy is trying to give him some energy, give him some confidence, give him something, saying, you know, this is your game, just relax, let it go and play. He's only completed passes to his running backs, he hasn't completed passes to his tight end or a wide receiver. He has a Fred Barnett out there, 
somewhere you think they're going to have to get the ball to those guys. As we begin the third quarter, Dallas leading 3-0. Again, they will not bring this one out. Seidner. Sigahima told them to stay in there. Yeah, if you look at these stats, you would you know, think that the score should be like 20 or 20, 30, 25, 30 to nothing. The Eagles only have one first down, 28 yards rushing, two yards passing. The turnovers are the same. Look at that time of possession. And check the quarterback. Jim McMahon behind that mask. Takes over his quarterback for Randall Cunningham. He had the feeling the Eagles had to do something. tell right just before halftime when we saw Richie Kotei talking to one of his offensive coaches Dick Wood there that that's probably what they were talking about if you want about if you want to make a change you want to know it going in before you go in so you have the whole halftime to get the other guy ready I'm sure they don't want to lose Randall Cunningham and his confidence but they want to get the momentum change in this thing and get something going offensively second and five Eagles at their own 25. McMahon changing the play. Down to five seconds on the play clock. McMahon to throw it. Incomplete. Good coverage. Intended Calvin Williams, Thomas Everett up to make the hit, and he will do that. And you know somewhere here that, that, that Jim McMahon is a guy who likes to go maximum protection, keep the guys in, just get a couple guys out, stay in the pocket, and throw the ball. And somewhere, I'm sure they talked about it at halftime, that he's going to try and get the ball to his outside receivers. I bet somewhere he's going to try and throw deep to Fred Barnett, but he needs better field position than this. Third and five. Crowd on its feet and loud. Barnett to the right. McMahon out of the shotgun. With Fred Barnett complete first down Philadelphia. First pass all day complete to a wide receiver. And you know, when you have a guy like Fred Barnett, you have to get the ball to him. Because if you don't get it to him, especially early, some of these guys will will you know lose interest in the game. I know Jerry Rice is that way. You gotta get the ball to him, get him involved in the game, get him competing. When you don't get a guy the ball in the first half, then you better come out and get it to him right away in the second half. Jim McMahon just did that. First and 10, Philadelphia at the 40. Byers and Walker behind McMahon. Walker. He drags some cowboy tacklers. Tony Tolbert. Robert Jones dragged Walker down. Eight yard, eight yard gain for Walker. Again, after you complete a couple of passes and then they think you're going to pass, then you get a pass rush. Now you got that defense loosened up a little. Especially, you know, that's why you like to get the ball to a wide receiver. Kind of spread it out. Get them back off where they're not ganging up and you're running your short stuff. This is the first for Jim McMahon since preseason. But he's a guy that wherever he goes commands respect. McMahon going deep. Hope. And Calvin Williams came back to make the catch. A gain of 37. Hope back there with him. A flag on the play. Well, and that's going to be against Calvin Williams because he just picked the ball up. The flag wasn't out there or at least the first one, the second one, he just picked the ball up and he threw it at Isaac Holt. Again, sometimes you just have to get your ball deep. You know, we talked about spread them out, spread them out, throw that thing up there deep. Here it's a one-on-one, -on -one. Calvin Williams wins the jump ball. See now, he taunted there. He shouldn't have done that. Holt throws it back, he shouldn't have done that. Williams throws it back. A lot of shouldn't have done it. Well, so I, th I think they called them both for shouldn't have done it, so it was offsetting penalties. They called Holt for throwing it at Williams, Williams for throwing it at Holt, but Williams started it by putting it in Holt's net. Williams got two throws to Holt one. No penalty. They offset. Williams, wide right, Barnett to the left. Fires in motion, McMahon the quarterback. Jim McMahon. To the five. He's not supposed to do that. I don't 
think you can say that about McMahon. He's not supposed to do it. The minute you say to Jim McMahon, hey, you're not supposed to do it, I'll guarantee you one thing, he's going to do it. Whatever it is. Who's running with the ball. But you give him a crack, any quarterback, and he's going to find it. One thing about Jim McMahon, he's not going to go down. I mean, he wasn't. He's still trying to make moves, and he doesn't do one of those slide jobs in there. He goes into anything he does head first. First and goal of the five. The first serious offense by Philadelphia all day. Dallas leading 3-0. Byers in motion to hand off Walker. Walker to about the four, three and a half. Maybe he got a yard, maybe two. Vincent Smith, Ken Norton. This is a tough thing for Cunningham because Cunningham, Randall Cunningham is a, is a star and and you think of yourself as a star and you want to be a leader and just, you know, things have been going bad. He's been in a slump the last few weeks and you just feel that he's trying to take the whole pressure of the offense of the Eagles on his shoulder. And maybe just a little change of pace like this, this may be just what he needed. Nothing physically wrong with him, but McMahon put together the best eagle drive of the day. Second and goal. Walker. Touchdown, Philadelphia. I think that's what Richie Kotite was talking about just before the half. We gotta change this thing. We gotta change the momentum. How do we do it? Let's bring in McMahon. And the feeling it was just gonna be a matter of time until they did make that change today. two-yard run for Walker. But the big thing he did is he came and he loosened up that defense and he opened it up by throwing and hitting his wide receivers. Ruzik for the extra point. The Eagles take the lead. 7-3. 10-24 left to play in the third quarter. The touchdown again. Good lead block there by Byers. Herschel Walker got everything going straight ahead. Look at Jim McMahon. I mean, he's, he's talking to Randall Cunningham there, and he's laughing about what he did. And I think he's laughing about that one that he threw to Calvin Williams, where he just threw it up there. Well, like you said, sometimes you have to do that. Just get something deep. Yeah, you know, I mean, some of you, you always do that thing. Go out and make something happen. Line drive, kickoff, bounces away from Martin. He downs it in the end zone. Dallas in the first half, and where they started. Their own 20. Their own 22. They had to punt both times. Then they fumbled. Then they missed field goals twice. They finally scored those three points. That's the way it was at the end of the half. Now it's 7-3 Philadelphia. You know, Jim McMahon talking there. His, his favorite guys are always the offensive linemen. I mean, after they make a touchdown, he always goes up, congratulates them with a headbutt. I mean, you know, he meets with them. He, he, he always rooms with an offensive lineman like Ron Heller, and he knows what you need to play in this league. Eggman will throw on first down and go deep. the middle. Stop by Booty. 21-yard pickup. Golick put a hit on Aikman. See, one thing about Mike Lerman, he is so big that he can get by a press. One thing the Eagles wanted to do was press or get up tight on those receivers. Michael Irvin can get by it. That's a pass protection here. Eric Williams doing a pretty good job just getting that right hand up on Reggie White. First down, Cowboys at their own 41. Eagles leading 7-3. And again, we'll throw it on first down. And throw the check. Out of bounds at the Eagle 35 by Rich Viano. Right now for an NFL update, let's send you again to our New York all right, Pat, strange doings in Phoenix. 49ers quarterback Steve Bono to Brent Jones over the middle. He fumbles. Eric Hill picks it up, and it's just taken away from him right there by Mike Sherrard, who goes 39 yards with the extra point. Phoenix's lead is now 17-7 to in the third quarter, Pat. 
at Texas Stadium in Philadelphia. Pat Summerall with John Madden, 7-0. Philadelphia leading in the Smith in the middle. The yard, not much more. You know, it's funny, Pat. It, it, maybe it took Jim McMahon just to open this game up. The first half was very conservative. Just three points by the Cowboys. Then McMahon comes in, boom, he's throwing bombs. Guys are fighting, taunting, doing the whole thing, getting it in. And then the Cowboys get the ball, then Aikman starts opening it up. So maybe we just had a little sparring thing in that first half, and we're going to start opening things up here in the second half. McMahon can light a spark. The Eagles come after Aikman, and the pass is batted down. Clyde Simmons, who's 6'6", knocked it away. I think one thing, when you when you have the Cowboy team, though, no, you don't want to forget Emmett Smith. Here they use Emmett Smith, again, to go to play pass and to block. As you said, Clyde Simmons got a little push up the middle, boom, got his right hand up and knocked the ball down. Third and nine coming up for Dallas. They're at the Eagle, 33 and a half. receivers. Kelvin Martin in the slot. He makes the reception for a Dallas first down. Fine catch. I tell you, you know, you come into this game and, and you say Michael Irvin is a wide receiver or Harper, and then the you know, running back, you got Emmett Smith. But the guy so far that's made all the plays is Kelvin Martin. They bring him in like the third wide receiver. And again, he's catching a lot of those passes in the area where normally the tight end would catch the ball. He's already had five catches today. Right now he gets a rest. Daryl Johnston splits wide to the left. Martin's in the slot and he goes in motion. Goldman back to throw it again. John and I will be in Detroit for the Lions and the Cowboys. Barry Sanders and the Lions destroyed Dallas last January in the playoffs. As Sanders scored on this remarkable run. Next Sunday, the Cowboys look for revenge. The Lions and the Cowboys next Sunday on CBS. Right now, it's the Eagles and the Cowboys on CBS. Alvin Williams, the man in motion. Hand off is to Walker. Walker got a couple. Vincent Smith and Jimmy Jones. Yeah, I think that's why you have a backup like a Jim McMahon and you pay him so much money. And it's like the same reason the 49ers have a backup like Steve. And that when you need him, you don't need him to mop up. You don't need him, you know, when everything's over, you win a lead. 
You need him when you got a big game and there's an injury or things aren't going right. Things didn't go right in the first half of the Eagles. They needed a change, and this is why McMahon gets paid big money. You don't need him to mop up, but you might need him to bail out, and that's what they're looking for right here. He's back to throw. Dumps it out to Byer. Cut down by Isaac Hope, a fine tackle by Hope. That was a heck of a tackle by Hope, because when they were talking about Keith Byers earlier, now he finishes off run, and usually when he catches a ball in the open field, he's going to make you pay for it. I think Holt knew that. Now watch where Holt tackles him, right around the ankles. There's no one in the world that has power in their ankle. So if you're going to tackle a powerful guy, get their ankle. Don't forget that Byers can't use his off arm, the ball in one arm. The other hand, he can't use because of that broken bone. That two broken bones, actually, on the same finger. McMahon to throw it. Incomplete, and no flag. Barnett, the intended receiver, covered by Brown. Well, he had pressure that time, but at least he's bringing the receivers into the game. He spread this Cowboy defense out. They're getting a good pass rush, and again, the pressure, that's the guy you expected from right there, Charles Haley. Jim McMahon has changed this game around, not only for the Eagles, but for the Cowboys, too. And for the crowd. The crowd is loud. And everyone woke up. Hey, get up! Eagles, line drive, kickoff. Bounces away for Kelvin Martin, all the way down to the 10 and inside. So the Cowboys will take over all the way back at their own eight. This game is presented by authority of the National Football League, and this CBS telecast is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of CBS, the Dallas Cowboys, and the National Football League is prohibited. You didn't recognize that voice? Uh, I'll tell you, I think the key to that voice is the way he said, without. Now, Wayne Gretzky, this is Emmett Smith. I don't know, John, things are sort of slipping away from us. Yeah, I know. Well, well you know, when guys are out of work, Wayne Gretzky, the, the great one, is, is not playing. He's injured and doesn't have anything to do. So, just in life, the more things you can do. I guess. Boy, that was Colt there who did one of them. Boy, that was good. Second down and about six. Eight for the throw. Picked off by Byron Evans. And Evans gives the Eagles a ball deep, deep in Dallas territory. That's what, that's what Jimmy Johnson was worried about yesterday, the turnovers. He said, well, we lost 31 to 7. He said, that's how we got killed by the turnovers. Last night, talking to Richie Kotite, he said, you know, when you talk about middle linebackers in this league, the guy who's playing the best is number 56, Byron Evans. And he's one of those guys, a lot like Kurt Govea, that does all the right, he's always in the right position, a very smart football player, that always knows where he's supposed to be and what to do when he gets there. First and 10, Philadelphia. The ball about the Dallas 12. Cowboys leading by three. McMahon gives it to Walker. Walker perhaps a yard before he stopped by the middle linebacker, Robert Jones. Maybe he didn't even get a yard. Hey, you're talking about Byron Evans here making a, a big play, probably the biggest play defensively of, of this game so far for the Eagles. And you remember last week that play that he made on the goal line. You talk about football and being in the pits and on the goal line. Byron Evans made one of the biggest hits I've ever seen on a goal line last week against the Cardinals. He's just got those instincts. I know, and that's, that's the thing. That's like a middle linebacker. Do. You can't teach a lot of that stuff. Jim McMahon, the quarterback. as he let it go. Byers made the reception. Byers rattled to the ground at about the eighth. 
Larry Brown, Thomas Everett. But he got six. Yeah, and Byers almost didn't get out of the backfield. If you watch him right up there in the top, you see he gets knocked off right there, trips, stumbles, and, and, and gains his composure and gets the ball. And talking about composure, how did McMahon get through that one? But watch Byers. He slips and falls down there. McMahon gets hit just as he throws it. That's a heck of a play that came very close to not happening. Haley hit McMahon just as he let it go. Byers flank to the left. They need four for a first down. McMahon chased out of the pocket. He was limping a bit early. Incomplete intended for Walker and no penalty marker down. Haley again with the pressure on McMahon. There's a penalty down now there in the right. Yeah. I think there's a fight. And again, it was Isaac Holt and Calvin Williams. Remember earlier, they were caught. The play was over, and it was down in the right-hand corner of the end zone. Way away from the ball. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 30 defense. After the play. Oh, that has to be a stupid Whoa. penalty. The yes, play sir. was over. They've stopped him on third down. Here it is right here. It'll be down in this corner, in the lower right-hand corner. You look at it right there, right in the corners where it starts. And again, that's something that's been going on all the time. Calvin Williams and Isaac Holt. Again, it looked like Calvin Williams started it. The penalty against Isaac Holt moves the ball down to the four and an automatic first down, more importantly. You know, Calvin Williams, I think, did start that one again. But Isaac Holt has been around long enough. That, you know, when someone does it in a third down and it's incomplete and the play's over, you just turn at the guy and you laugh at him and you walk away. You get your hat. Take the helmet and walk off the field and laugh at him. Especially in a game like this, this tight and as big as it is to both teams. Alvin Williams had a big play in caught and he's had two points. Seven over the Eagles. The Eagles came roaring out. They begin the third quarter, and now they're back after the interception by Byron Evans. First and goal. This is Walker. Touchdown, Philadelphia, and now the scramble. The official signal touchdown, and now the one on the other side says the ball was down. He's pointing down. touchdown he brought it out once once the ball crosses the plane then if it comes back or not it doesn't make any difference the official on the other side did signal touchdown on the lower side of your picture now you see the ball right there it's a touchdown it crossed the plane second and goal walker again hit in the backfield spun away from tony casillas Vincent Smith finally wrapped him up. He got away from Casillas and didn't lose any yardage. Yeah, you know, last week we remember that goal line stand of the Eagles. Now the Eagles are on the other end of it. Here's a previous play now, Ben. This isn't the last play. This is again, again, it's where the ball is when the knee goes down. The knee's not down yet. The ball breaks the plane. So what happens after that doesn't count. Once it breaks the play, it's a touchdown. That should have been a touchdown. Right now, it's third and goal with the one. McMahon. Jump shot to the end zone. Incomplete. And the Cowboys hang on. Intended for Walker. And the guy that has to feel the best right now is Isaac Holt. But they had him stopped on third down, and he got in a, a fight down there with even with, with either Calvin Williams or Fred Barnett. Maybe both. I know, but he got in the fight down there, and then that brought the penalty. So 
Again, they're right back where they started from. An 18-yard field goal set up for Roger Ruzik. Shorter than an extra point. Beagles hold it. And we have another tie at 10. The first half stayed at nothing-nothing until the Cowboys finally got a field goal. And now it's all even again. And Isaac Colt is a happy guy because it was a third down play where he got the unnecessary roughness penalty. It was a fight after the play was over. He knows, I mean, he's been around eight years. He knows that he should have gotten off there. But when that happens, if you're a defensive back in this league, the worst thing you can have is a memory. When a play is over, you have to forget it. Now Jimmy Johnson is talking to him there about it. Is that what you would have done as a coach? Say, hey, think of the situation. In fact, that was what Jimmy Johnson, you see, he said, point way to his head, use your head. I mean, it's easy to say when you're not in the heat of battle, but if you're a competitor and some guy, whether it was Fred Barnett or Calvin Williams is down there and they're throwing punches and taunting and so on, it's hard to walk. I mean, that's the right thing to do. You have to walk away, but it, it's hard to do. In the heat of battle, you just throw something. And then the next thing you know, uh, the guy throws a flag on you. Sometimes that's hard to do in any situation. Just yeah. walk away. Yeah, that's in. But, but that's what, you know, you think an eight-year veteran, that's what Jimmy Johnson, I'm sure, was telling him that, you know, we'd stopped him. The play was over. Just be happy and uh, just give him your back to read. Martin and Holmes back deep for Ruzek's kickoff, and it's a good one. But he'll bring it out. Kelvin Martin. He will wish he didn't bring it out. Brent Hager down to make the stop. These are all finals. They all took place earlier today. Green Bay beat Detroit. The Jets over Miami. New Orleans continues to roll. 49ers losing at the moment to Phoenix. And the Saints would move into a tie for first. Very quietly. You know, I think the Cowboys did dodge a bullet down here because I think Herschel Walker crossed the plane, and I think that, that should have been a touchdown. First and ten, Cowboys from their own 11. by Hopkins. Emmett Smith inside the Eagle 40. 51 yards for Emmett Smith. Byron Evans blitz and they took advantage of it. Watch Evans blitz as they start towards Evans and then everything was going to that left. Emmett Smith starts to the left. Boom, he saw that big cutback lane there. He took it. The only guy that can catch him is Eric Allen coming from the other side of the field. Emmett Smith has 18 carries and 104 yards. Emmett Smith made that play because it was a good defensive call. They were blitzing right into the run. Emmett Smith started there and took a cutback away from the flip. If Emmett's tired, no. To the right side. Rich Miano up to make the stop. Maybe he is tired. Some running backs get better when they're tired. You know, I think that uh, you know the defense get a little tired, they get a little tired, and they just just instincts take over. If you talk to most running backs, they will usually do better after they carry the ball 10 or 12 times than they will the first 10 or 12 times they carry the ball. He's had it 19 times. Second and six, 10-10 tie, the Eagles and Cowboys. They ain't gonna throw it. Rovacek had it and dropped it again. You don't think it's wrong to say drop it again, do you? No, 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 it's right to say. I mean, he's a guy, you know, we talked about this, the broken finger, and then you have to adjust because he's a guy who's always caught the ball with his hand. Then you have the broken finger, and now he's trying to adjust, and he's trying to catch the ball with his body or against his body. And what the ball's doing is getting too close, hitting his shoulder pad, and just bouncing out. Third and six. 
at the Eagle 33. Here's Aikman. Gets it to Martin. And they fling him around and backward. Wes Hopkins does. Down to the 30. A gain of three. I think the Cowboys thought they had to be able to run today. Emmett Smith had to be able to run. The Eagles thought they had to stop Emmett Smith. And now he has over 100 yards. Here comes Elliott for his fourth field goal try of the day. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Dallas 10, Philadelphia 10. Our coverage will continue after this message from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Hi, at Texas Stadium, the Eagles and the Cowboys. An NFC East rivalry has perhaps unmatched anywhere else in professional football. You look at how the teams have performed in the fourth quarter. Elliott from 48 yards this time. That's going to get there. And the Cowboys have the lead back. credit the great the great goal line defense and the big run by Emmett Smith 13 10 Dallas by Energizer brand batteries at the beginning of the third quarter Jim McMahon replaced Cunningham at the Eagle quarterback spot the Eagles have 121 yards Dallas 309 Emmett Smith 19 carries 108 yards seems to be sort of, sort of a barometer for a running back to get over 100 yards against this Eagle defense. Elliott's kickoff is deep and good. Seidler downs it deep in the end zone. You know, and the funny thing about that is the Eagles played it pretty well. You're going to see Johnson here. He's going to lead. Byron Evans is going to hit it here. Emmett Smith starts here, then watch the hole that he comes back here. Byron Evans reads 48 Johnson. He goes in there and takes on the lead. Emmett Smith leaves the lead and goes the other way, and there's no one there until Eric Allen comes all the way across. First and 10, the Eagles at their own 20. Opening seconds of the final quarter. And the Cowboys leading 13-10. Jim McMahon, the Philadelphia quarterback. Screen pass to Byers. Good room. Byers. Cut down by Everett. An Eagle first down, a gain of 18. You know, that's one thing about Keith Byers is, is he can have a, you know, a bad knee. He got his knee hurt against the Redskins. He has a broken hand in two places, but... He's, he's one of those guys you just have to like on your side. I mean, he's a competitor. He knows this is a big game. He knows he has broken hands, cast stuff, holding things. But there's no way you're going to keep him out of this action. Didn't play last week at all. One good thing, he's left-handed, and his right hand is broken. Fires again. again with Jeff Coat. A gain of a yard. And now McMahon has got to put it up. I tell you, Jeff Coat is in there and Charles Haley is out. I don't know if Haley is out. In fact, Jeff Coat is just waving for someone to come in, but I don't know. If, in fact, here comes Haley as we speak. But I, I didn't know if Haley was out just for a rest or if there was something wrong with Haley, but I think on a second and long and third and long you want Charles Haley in there. Somewhere. Getting after that passer. Well, he can do it. Second and long. McMahon back to throw it. Haley. McMahon got it to Byers. A gain of a couple of yards. Robert Jones kept Byers down. You know, watch Haley here. What he does is he's going to take an inside move, but he takes about three guys with him, and he makes a pile right in front of the quarterback. Now, he doesn't have a lot of sacks this year, but what? One, two, three guys blocking him, and he's still in there raising havoc. 
That's what Charles Haley gives this Cowboy defense. Talk about a guy that comes with a full load. And comes with a motor running at 110 miles an hour, too. Every play. Third down. They need seven for a first. McMahon out of the shotgun. Haley again. Pressure incomplete. Alvin Williams, the intended receiver, covered by Gant. Tell you one thing, the Eagles haven't had success on third down, or the Cowboys have played great third down defense. Look at it right here. Third down conversions. The Eagles are only one for ten. Two of the best defenses, if not the two best defenses in football in this game. This will be Kelvin Martin. He is taken down by Hager. Cowboys will take over at about their own 21. 40-yard punt, two-yard return. Taste what barley does for beer. And by HP Laser Jet Printers. If it isn't a laser jet, it's only a laser printer. Dallas leading Philadelphia by three. 13 to 10 with 12-29 left to play. Cowboys ball at their own 22. about time of possession and they say it doesn't mean anything it means a lot when your defense gets tired and I think now we're starting to see it and we had that first half time of possession where the Eagles defense this group was out on the field the whole first half now they've been out there darn near the whole first game I mean no, the whole game and they're starting to get worn down and now is when they start getting the big runs against them and this is when a running back like Emmett Smith starts to really wear you down. And that's what happened. And, and you know, the, the biggest part of that was in the first half. And they just had so many shots at that defense. And I think they got worn down. They're a little slower now. They're not quick like they were in the first half. They makes the Smith this time. That's the struggle. Troy Aikman. Yeah, one thing about Aikman, ever since he came into this league, he always had a good arm, a strong arm to zip the ball, but he's gotten so much poise now. I mean, he's, he's, Lena, where he's starting to look like Joe Montana out there, where, I'm not saying he is Joe Montana, but where he's starting to make things look easy. You know, it's not like everything is a struggle. Although he still has that big old chin strap on there because every year he gets hit somewhere up under the chin and splits it open. Surprising, John, how fast he is. Oh, yeah, he can, he can run. He's not known as a runner or a scrambler, but he has good speed. This is Emmett Smith in the backfield, breaks away from one tackler and now hits down the sideline. Close to another Dallas first down. They had him and lost him. Once you wear a defense down, and they've worn this Eagle defense down, I think this happens. You see the Cowboys are getting off on the ball well. They're not wrapping up in their tackles. They're just a step slower, so they have to start reaching. Early in the first half, boom, you can run through stuff. Now you start getting there, and you start reaching and grabbing and not hitting that same way you did earlier. Emmett Smith did get his first down. Day when Emmett Smith ran off that field and you saw the sweat all over his body, he looked like what you call a workhorse. That was a picture running out of bounds of a workhorse. Well, he's going to get some more work. Smith to the 36. A gain of six. There's two frustrated quarterbacks. One, uh, Cunningham, because he couldn't get anything going at all in the first half and was replaced by McMahon, who has to be frustrated now because they can't get the ball back. Second and four. He has to be frustrated about the inability to get it in when they had that break on the interception by Evans. They only got three. Yeah, and then one time it looked like Herschel Walker was in there, then they got... The Isaac Holt penalty, they got three more tries and still couldn't do it. And again, Smith's first down. He got seven out of nothing. Yeah, this is what we were 
were talking about earlier where where some running backs just tend to get stronger to get more energy as they play and Emmett Smith is doing that but I'll tell you who else is doing it his offensive line his offensive line in the first half didn't really have control of this game they didn't have control in the third quarter the Dallas Cowboy offensive line is taking control in this fourth quarter Their jerseys coming out, their sweat going down both legs. This guy needs a break. But there. Now we talk about the offensive line and the guys are doing a job. There they are, right there. Why is it that the defensive line gets tired, but the offensive line doesn't? I don't know, because they don't have to chase anyone. They know who they're going to block. They stay in a shorter area. But I'll tell you, one tired guy was Emmett Smith. Did you see? I've never seen a guy sweat like that in a long time outdoors. This is Daryl Johnson. Flag on the play. Reggie White made the stop. Here comes Smith back. Well, they aren't going to let him out for long. With a 13 to 10 lead, they don't feel confident at all when they're playing the Philadelphia Eagles. They need more first downs that will end up in touchdowns, and they need Emmett Smith. Offside, number 96, defense, five yards, first down. Simmons offside, 8.49 left to play. Dallas 13, Philadelphia 10. They always talk in this game about the pass and the passing game, but this is why you need a running game. You need a running game to get first down. You need a running game to get time off the clock. You need a running game to wear down the defense. And now again, the Eagles with only three defensive backs and four linebackers. Cowboys with two tight ends. Johnson. Pitts was the first man to hit him. I'll tell you, I'm sure that Norv Turner uh, uh, sees that up here, and this is an ideal time to play pass. I mean, the Eagles know with a 13 to 10 point lead, they're trying to keep them to a field goal down here. They only have three defensive backs in there. This is an ideal time to fake the run and throw a pass. Although it looks like the Eagles are coming back in. They know that. They just brought uh, uh, John Booty, their cornerback, in. So now they have four defensive backs. And the Cowboys put in the two wide receivers. That's the chess game. Second down. Here's Aitman. It was a flip. This is Johnston. Touchdown. Fourteen yards out. Then he did that dive in the end zone, but he was already in there. Not a lot of plays, but that was a big, big one. Elliott's extra point is good. And it's Dallas 20. The Eagles 10 with 7.39 left. John and I travel to the Silverdome for the Cowboys and the Lions in a rematch of last year's playoff game. It was a magical year for Eric Kramer and the Lions last season. And in the playoffs, they annihilated the Cowboys. The Silverdome crowd got to celebrate Detroit's first postseason appearance since 1983. The Lions have struggled this year. And next week, Dallas looks for revenge. The Lions and the Cowboys next Sunday on CBS. That was Emmett Smith a year ago there, but Emmett Smith... kickoff sails into the end zone I mean that's what a, a running back looks like after he's gained a hundred yards against the Philadelphia Eagle defense well he told us yesterday all the soreness was gone 
there has been some contact in this game. Yeah, I think that uh, that's Wes Hopkins, the hard-hitting free safety of the, the Eagles, and can get the stuff not that stats and what Charles Haley has added to this team. You can't just do it that he's gonna come right here. This is just a speed rush, just boom, he comes right around, right, right, right around Smith to tackle him. See him up there on top, that's just that's just speed. Just runs right around him. McMahon didn't have a chance. Second and 18. McMahon to throw, chased by Haley again, gets it out to second. Pickup of 11 yards, Norton and Gant. The Eagles hurry up. Well, the Eagles know that they need two scores here, being down by 10 points. And under seven minutes left, they can't think in terms of just one score. Third and seven. McMahon incomplete. Intended for Sikahima incomplete. They'll have to punt. Now, of course, the Eagles haven't had any success today on third down, but a lot of that starts on first and second down. If you don't gain anything on first and second, then you get a lot of third downs and you get a lot of third and long. How about what Nate Newton said to us yesterday when I asked him what was wrong with his knee? He said, oh, you know, a lot of weight, a lot of football, and a couple of car wrecks. <laughs> I've had a good life. He's had a good <laughs> life. That's the, way, that's the way Nate Newton thinks. He's always a refreshing and popular guy to talk to. Fielded the point, the punt at the 20. 56 yard punt by Fiegels. Six and a half minutes left to play. Dallas by 10. It was funny when Jimmy Johnson was talking about the battles they have to win. Their defense had to win the battle against the Eagle offense. They probably did. The kicking game, I don't know. That could be close, but I'll tell you the battle he didn't expect to win, but he did was his offense against the Eagle defense in the second half and being able to run with them at that the was a battle of endurance as much as anything else they just wore him down yeah, and a lot of guts on Emmett Smith I mean, oh he, boy I didn't have many doubts about it I didn't have any doubts about it before but I sure as heck don't now there is one tough running back Eggman gives to Smith William Thomas made the stop on Emmett Smith he fires Randall Cunningham so Cunningham, you know, it happens to, to players in baseball and, you know, they call it a slump and it happens to players in football. You just get into where you're in a slump and uh, Randall Cunningham is in a slump. Second down about nine and a half. The Cowboys at their own 21. Just outside the 20 make it. Troy Aikman has gone all the way. Cunningham was replaced by McMahon. Novacek in motion. Aikman gets to him. Smith outside the 25. The point of six for a game of six. Trip by Golick. Third and four it'll bring up. I tell you, they aren't going to take out Emmett Smith. And yeah, I'm sure they're thinking, well, you got a 10-point lead. Why don't you take him out? Well, you don't need to rest the guy now, although they are taking him out. But this is against the Philadelphia Eagles. And Emmett Smith is having a career day. When you start off and your name is E. Smith and you end up and you're just Smith, you've had a tough day. You lost the E for effort. Or excellence. Excellent. Pass incomplete in the direction of Irvin, but there was a flag on the play. Clyde Simmons rushed Aikman. Against the Eagles, and that'll be the first down. Clyde Simmons also is a man offside. Rich Kotite says, take it easy, guys. Well, it uh, looked like he wanted a timeout. Defense, he would have been first farther down. out on the field if he had not had that rope tied to him. He was saying last night, hey, this is a big game, but we still got a lot of games to go. And of course, they felt confident. I mean, the, the Eagles have beaten the Cowboys nine out of the last ten games. 
come in. He was upset because was, they beat him last time 31 to 7. And the Cowboys were saying that they felt good about the game. He said, how can you feel good going off the field when you just got beat 31 to 7? He was still mad about that. Oh, yeah. That's the way coaches think. Less than five minutes now. First down, Dallas. Exhibit Smith. Still on his feet. Stopped by William Thomas after a gain of three or four. Jim McMahon still very intense about the situation. Timeout, Philadelphia. They have one left. The Jets over Miami. That, I suppose, the surprise of the day. Game was produced by Bob Stinner and directed by Sandy Grossman. Coordinating producer of the NFL Today is Eric Mann. The NFL Today was directed by Duke Strzok. And the senior producer of the NFL on CBS is Ed Gorin. Our senior producer here today has been Emmett Smith and his offensive line. Hey, you know, if he were a, a gas tank, he would be running. You know how the gas tank, sometimes when you get on E, a light comes on? Emmett Smith's light would be on right now. again and he might have just run out of gas I think what's that old saying you can't get blood out of a rock or a turnip or something like that that's good enough what a turnip when's the last time anyone's eaten a turnip but anyway you can't get something out of a turnip but they're sure trying to get it out of Emmett Smith <laughs> there is a tired running back there is a warrior there is a heck of a football player. He doesn't know whether he's coming or going. He doesn't know that that thing started out as an elbow pad, I think. <laughs> Look at it. Maybe a knee pad. Yeah, he started out, he had an E on his jersey and had a big old pad on his right elbow. His jersey was tucked in, his uniform was dry. By the way, I had some turnips not too long ago. <laughs> I, I haven't had a turn. I haven't. I don't know where the heck turnips are. They're on the ground. Yeah, but the other thing is rutabaga. I, mean, I could go for a good old turnip and rutabaga dinner. Either one I'd prefer to a rock, I guess. But anyway, it's, they've, they've gotten it out of the rutabagas tonight. <laughs> right. Third and seven. Aikman gives again the spin. Loose, but he was down. He got four yards, four tired yards. Yeah, I would think. I would think now is the time. Of, it's probably at that quarter, but now is probably the time to get it to get Emmett Smith out of the game because I mean he's getting very, very close to a, an area where you could get hurt. And they're assisting him right now to the correct bench. Mike Saxon back to punt for Dallas. Sakahima back deep. They say he's been close to breaking something. He came close again, but out of bounds. Time to rest, Emmett. And he's just hoping that, uh, that it doesn't come too quick. I mean, that he doesn't have to get back out there too fast. Now, again, the Eagles, they have to play... They have to play very quick football because they have to think in terms of, of two touchdowns. They have to play fast break football. Emmett Smith doesn't want that fast break to be successful, but he doesn't want it to be over too quickly either. Leon Lett takes Russell Maryland place. First and ten, the Eagles ball at their own 45. 20 to 10, Dallas. 352 left to play. McMahon out of the shotgun. The Calvin Williams first down at the Dallas 38. James Washington made the hit a gain of 17. And the Eagles, of course, are going with no huddle because they need those two scores. But they have no timeouts left. for Williams Brown good coverage I think 
about Jim McMahon, the, uh, he, you know, you know that he's a competitor. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna fight you all the way until there's no time left. He 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 knows he needs two scores, so he's trying to get one quick. Roy Green, you see number 81 in here, just activated for today's game. I don't know if he can run anymore, but at one time he was a great deep threat. He really was. He could do everything. McMahon to throw. Complete to Roy Green. Everett made the stop. Just over three minutes now left to play. Randall Cunningham was replaced after the half by Jim McMahon. McMahon took the Eagles right down the field. McMahon to throw it. Incomplete. McMahon took a hit. Sikahima, the intended receiver. Leon Lett, big 300 pounds on top of McMahon. Yeah, again, Charles Haley helps that. You know, Haley gets the thing from the outside. He makes the quarterback have to step in, and then you get a big Leon Lett. I think that that Charles Haley has helped this defense generally, but specifically, he has helped Leon Lett. Leon Lett is going to be a good pass rusher. I mean, he's so big and strong. He's from Emporia State. And like he said, you know, someone said, what do you think when you're from a little school? He said, when I'm playing a game, I don't think of where I'm from. Second and 10. McMahon. Case again, and McMahon on the scramble. Inside the 15, slides to the 13. And back up in a hurry and ready to go. Charles Haley gave the pressure, but he didn't have any help. See, 94, they're just getting back. He was the pressure, but he was the only guy. McMahon downs it and stops the clock. The Eagles out of timeout. 2.33 left. Now, the Eagles have to think again. Remember, just a couple weeks ago, like the Redskin game, they have to think in terms of a score. An onside kick, a recovery, and another score. I think if it gets to fourth down before they get to an end zone, I think they have to think of a field goal. Because you need, you know, ten points with three and a seven, or a seven and a three to tie. You would like two sevens, obviously. But you'd settle for ten. So I think if they get to a fourth down, I think they're going to kick the field goal, then try the onside kick. I think so. I think you're right. Second down and ten. McMahon retreats again. Pass is picked off by Isaac Holt. Holt cut down at about the 17, but he got his revenge. Calvin Williams was the intended receiver. Uh, Calvin Williams and Isaac Holt have been going at it all day. Calvin Williams, Fred Barnett, Isaac Holt. Isaac Holt, when it's all over today, is going to be able to laugh. In fact, I think Isaac Cole, when he started the game, I think he had one of those shields on. Now he gets this interception, he doesn't. But says he just steps in, makes that interception, and for all intent and purposes, that could finish the game. He went from being a GOAT to now a big hero. It was Isaac Holt who got involved in that fracas that gave the Eagles first and goal. They couldn't get in. They got a field goal after his little misunderstanding with Calvin Williams, and now he gets the interception. Yeah, he's really been a pretty good player for this Dallas Cowboy team. He's he's one of the guys that you know, people talk about the Herschel Walker trade and the draft choices, but Isaac Holt was one of the guys right. that they got for Herschel Walker from Minnesota. Aiden carried the ball back to Smith, who didn't look like he wanted it. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think, I mean, I think there are a point now that Smith should, really shouldn't be in there. I mean, I think that he may be at a point where he's completely tired, he may be delirious, and they probably ought to get him out of there. Jerry Jones, along with Jimmy Johnson, who turned this franchise totally around. Back to honor. Two minutes left. <laughs> the CBS Sunday night movie her final fury Betty Broderick the last chapter the drama of the San Diego socialite murderers all tonight on CBS a lot of things happening well one thing that's not happening uh, Jimmy Johnson isn't going to take Emmett Smith out of this game 
They're going to kneel down, but he's still going to keep them in there. I wonder who's going to help him to the locker room. I don't know. He can't even get his chin strap off. He doesn't even have enough chance to play. He's finally saying, hey, I got to get out of here. And there he goes. I don't know if they're acknowledging him yet. He tried to walk off before the timeout. <laughs> they're finally sending someone in now. What a day. What a player. He's below empty right now. 30 rushes, 163 yards. He's so tired, he can't even be happy. Well, that's a great thing about that. About this game, about what a guy who's in really good shape, as he obviously is, it'll come back. And that's the best kind of, that's the best kind of tired to be. Successful tired, winning tired. Ain't an over 100 yards tired. Being the leading rusher in the National Football League tired. That's good tired. He'll, be be he'll feel better, but it'll be about Wednesday or Thursday, I'll yeah. guarantee you. He said it's usually Monday. This week will be Wednesday or Thursday, as you say. He says Monday, you get up sometimes and you feel some stuff and you wonder, when did that happen? Yeah. You don't even remember getting hit or hurt there. Tomorrow might be one of those days. And Tuesday might be one of those days. And Wednesday could be one of those days. 30 seconds left. Time out. Dallas. Now they have two left. Yeah, and they could be thinking here of taking a safety. Could be. Good. But I think they could do that. That's, that's probably what he's talking to Johnston about there. Special teams coach, the head coach. Joe Abizano. And I'm sure they're probably going to take the safety. This is one that is a dangerous play sometimes if you take a safety in that you don't want your guy to fumble when he takes the safety because then it could be a touchdown. Saxon back in the end zone. Let's see if he takes the safety. Then, of course, they get the free kick from the 20. If he takes it. I would think taking it would be a good play in this situation. Boom it away. He might midfield. And the Cowboys cover well. 38-yard punt. 10-yard return. Kenneth Gant. Thing I've ever seen that a Gant is celebrating and the official comes over and pats him on the back so that was good <laughs> no never seen that the guy celebrating the official agrees oh, with him right. and, then, and then penalizes him yeah you're right now we could be watching the best team in the National Football League and as they play right now you you'll know, say who is the best team and it could very well be these Dallas Cowboys. The best record, certainly. San Francisco lost. New Orleans sneaking up on people. They've already beaten the Washington Redskins. Yeah. They're beating the Eagles here today. Here's McMahon. He gets rid of it to Byers. One-handed catch. That ought to be enough. Kenneth Gant made the stop. Clock running. The counting begins. Philadelphia, 20 to 10. So for John Madden, this is Pat Summerall saying so long from Texas Stadium with final score it is 20 to 10 Dallas. Coming up next, 60 minutes except on the West Coast Mountain Time Zone. You've been watching CBS Sports coverage of the National Football League.